Tonight. First training session together. Fresh start. Let's go. Come on, girls. New colours. Oh. Yeah. Come on. More pain. Look at that face. My God. <sighs> you can already see the cracks. And... This is where we put your willpower to the test. It's time for the first temptation. There is one immunity for one couple. It's a high-calorie standoff. Everyone was getting a bit anxious. Who's going to go for it? But which couple? I honestly don't trust them. Well, flinch first. Today's going to be a really big day on the island, and Michelle and I couldn't wait to get started. I wanted to talk to my group about their diet, but before I got started, they had some diet news of their own. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. How is everyone? Good. We had a warehouse. Yeah? And uh, we had to choose between barbecue chicken or eggs for the next week. Which is the better option? What did you guys choose? Eggs. Eggs. Good decision. You can control how the eggs are cooked, you can get more variety, and you know exactly how many calories are in it. Yeah. If you had have chosen chicken, what would have been the most important thing? Take the skin Take off. Take the, the, the skin off, yeah. But you've got the eggs, fantastic. At the end of the day, diet is the most important factor in weight loss. If my guys are going to succeed in this game, they've got to get it right from the start. There's still no better equation than anybody's come up with in than calories in, calories out. In a day, Teresa, what would you have eaten in the old days? Um, I used to, I used to be like a drive through queen. Thank you. I'd have like an egg in the morning with two hash browns and a large orange juice. And then we got lunch, and that was a double cheeseburger. So no lettuce, no tomato, no pickle. With a large fries and a large orange juice. Wow. Nah. And then you got dinner, and it's exactly the same as what lunch was. So just going through that, it sounds like you're up to around four and a half thousand odd calories a day. Turned to estimated about four thousand calories per day. You know, to be honest, it was it'd be more like six thousand. The boys, I want you between fourteen to sixteen hundred calories a day. Just see how you go. The girls, I want you all on about eleven hundred calories a day. Probably the most common thing I've found with people who are overweight or struggle with their weight is they don't eat breakfast. Yeah. I've got a catch cry, it goes like this. Eat like a king for breakfast, eat like a prince for lunch, and eat like a pauper for dinner. These are your calorie counters, Thank take you. one and pass them around. Right. In order for you to understand the calories that are in foods, you'll find them in here. You must understand what's going in here. I think I'm getting it in my head what I need to do to lose this weight. Um, I know what healthy food choices are. Um, I just don't make them often. All right, who's ready to train? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go. All right, welcome to paradise. OK, this is where we're going to be training today. We're back on the beach. You're going to burn some calories. It's all good. I was really excited today. It was the first chance that I had to train my group alone. Warm it up. Punch it out. Training, I'm looking forward to it. I want to see my physical limits. I want to be fitter, stronger. Well, we've been doing a bit of boxing lately. Who's sore? Yeah. Whatever gets thrown at me, I'm going to put myself into it 110%. And unless I'm dying, I'm not going to quit. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. They now know it's 10 couples against each other. And I really wanted to find out which of the couples were serious players in this game. Come on. Uh, Up you get. I can't, I can't, I can't. My stomach, oh my god. Hate. Some couples you see a strength, other couples you can already see the cracks. Go girls. Mel and Holly have had some major issues and fallouts in the past. What do you need from Holly to get past this? Support, not giving up, motivation. Holly, you're gonna have to step up, girl. I know. When Michelle pulled us aside, she pretty much said that we're sisters and we need to stick together and be a team and not let each other down. Being brothers in this competition is the biggest advantage. We're both strong, we're both focused, we have our head in the game. Ten! Very nice. Go, boys. And we're just there to spur each other on. 
Where's your man love now? Righty! <laughs> Nathan and Andrew's strengths are obvious. They're big, strong, fit guys. But it also makes them a target. <laughs> Coming out all guns blazing isn't always the smartest thing to do. When I heard Nathan and Andrew grunting really loudly, whether it was to make the whole team feel their presence, I'm not sure. Let's go, gang. We're swapping. There could have been a possibility that they were trying to psych the other people out. From the knee, bro. Woo! Good boy! When Andrew and I are, are together, we have a strong bond. Good boys. That's my boys. We will be a force to be reckoned with. Come on! Coming up... That's not gonna do! Training claims a casualty. Benny, I've never felt like that before. I didn't know where I was. And later... I can see that they're playing the game. Who can resist the first temptation? People in the group gonna go for it. Pull your partner up. How strong's your partnership? In today's session, I wanted to test each partner's commitment. Come on. So I had them running up a hill, pulling their partner. If there was a weak link, that would be exposed today. Go, Mum, the best you got, girls, right to the top. Come on, girls, go! You think your kid's watching? Come on, come on! We had to lift these logs and we had to drag them up the hill. It was horrible, absolutely horrible. Come on! Come on, Benny, we gotta do it. Come on, let's go. We were doing the log jump and Ben just seen the start of fatiguing. Come on, Benny, no, that's not gonna do. That's not gonna do us. We're not gonna win weigh-ins like that. When I was on the log jump, I was absolutely out of it. I'd lost all my energy and I couldn't finish it. He's your teammate, go. On, Let's go, three. Benny, we've got three to one. Don't tell me now. Don't let me down now on the first day. Come on. I believe in you, mate, go. I felt absolutely tired. I didn't know where I was. OK, slow down. Right. Suck him in, mate, suck him in. I was feeling a bit lightheaded. I've never felt like that before. And the medic was called. Little fingerprint. Ouch. Okay. Drop of blood. 3.1. Your blood sugar levels drop, so that's the cause of your feeling dizzy. My biggest worry is that if my energy levels stay this low, I won't be able to train. And that might cost Sean and myself a place in this game. The most inspirational part of my training session was right at the end. The Girl. biggest woman ever on the show is leading everybody else and leaving them for dead. Amanda is the heaviest female contestant we've ever had on The Biggest Loser, which must be a daunting thing for her. I stood her at the bottom of the hill and said, mate, you've got to run up this. Are your goals big? She just burst into tears. Do you want to lose heaps of weight? So it's going to take something special. Yeah. Being the weight I am, straight away I panicked because uh, I can't do hills. Look at that hill, OK? It's bloody big, isn't it? Look at that hill. I want you to stare it down. Make that your hill now, OK? I don't know if it was a fear that she couldn't do it or a fear of the pain that it was going to hurt or what. Don't be scared. Get angry. Ready? Get angry. Then all of a sudden, this look of determination came over her face. She squared up to the hill, and off she went. Ready? Set? Get angry. Go! And not one step backwards. I don't want one walk step. Let's go, Amanda. You can do this. My heart was just in my chest and I thought I was going to be sick. Yes, you can! And I just really, really struggled. Good, Amanda, come on! Come on, stare that down. Get angry with it, it's time to take your life back. You're not a victim anymore. Look at that face! Good, Amanda, come on! Yes, you can! Come on, five, four, yes, you can! Three, two... Put your hands in the air, girl. Put your hands up, put your hands up. You got it. Not only did she run up the hill the whole way, she ran up the hill pulling Stuart behind her. It was the most incredible feat I've seen. Right, now we're talking. Take your life back, good. There's no reason she couldn't be the first female biggest loser. We were told to head out to the grass out the front of the Hunt Resort. I was feeling nervous and um, there was a little bit of excitement there too. When we walked out onto the grass, I saw AJ standing there and in front of her was a table with six silver platters. In my mind, I was just ticking over, well, what's going to happen here? 
Hello, contestants. Hi, AJ. And welcome. This is where we put your willpower to the test. It's time for your first temptation. Next, what temptations lie ahead? Oh. And with immunity up for grabs, will anyone break team trust? I could go for this. Did you know that diabetes is our nation's sixth leading cause of death? Up to 1.7 million Australians suffer from type 2 diabetes, with obesity being one of the major causes. So, in an effort to raise awareness, I'm starting my own weight loss journey. And for every kilo I lose, the biggest loser will donate $1,000 to Diabetes Australia. If you want to follow AJ's weight loss, then you can log on to the Biggest Loser website where you can make a donation and do your bit. Why not join the fight, Australia, and help turn diabetes around? It's time for your first temptation. Every week, temptation gives you the chance to win this competition's most powerful prize. In front of you are six platters. Under one of them is immunity. Reach it first and you win a guaranteed week in the competition. I believe that there's people in the group that are going to go for it. Immunity for us would be good. Immunity would be, would be excellent for anybody. The other five platters contain food, high calorie food. Food you love, but food that could cost you dearly at your first competitive weigh-in. It may be worth it for some people, but it's not worth it for us. One of the plates holds six lollies containing a total of 80 calories. One of the plates has a slice of cheesecake weighing in at 400 calories. Oh. One has a chocolate eclair, 800 calories. Oh. Oh. Under another is chocolate cake with cream on the side, 1300 calories. Oh. Oh. That's a daily intake. And finally, a beef burger with the lot. Oh. Aussie burger with a lot is just on top of the pyramid for what I would love to eat. It comes with a whopping 2,019 calories. Oh. That's almost double your daily calorie intake. Samantha looked at me with daggers and what that meant was no dad, no way in the world. And be warned, you're here as partners. You're in this competition together. There are two servings on each plate. Even if only one of you is tempted to lift the lid, both servings must be eaten. If one of you picks the immunity, both of you win immunity. I think Holly and Mel will need immunity. Holly's the weaker one, and Holly's a bit of a whinger, complaining about everything. So I don't think a lot of people are happy with it. There's one more thing. Whoever wins immunity will also take the walk. The walk can change your biggest loser journey dramatically. AJ then spoke about that you would have the power of the walk also. And that was something that started cogging in, in my mind and Andrew's. Contestants, this is one of the most important moments of this competition. Think carefully, very carefully. There is one immunity for one couple. If you choose to play, you must race to the platter of your choice. You must eat the food. The first to reach the correct platter when I say go will win the power of immunity and will take the walk. If I feel like I'm at risk of getting kicked out of the game, I may play for immunity. Contestants, please take your positions. This is going to be interesting to see who's going to go for it. Yeah. Our luck. Yeah. Looking at the hamburgers. Yeah. Okay, contestants. Go. I can't believe it. Not one person. We didn't move. Sean turned his back like he did at the banquet and we all stood strong. It's a statement saying that I'm turning my back on the foods that I used to eat, the foods that have got me to where I am now. I made that choice, yeah. that decision that we're leaving it behind and I don't want to eat a burger. Michelle would have killed us. No. 
<laughs> Contestants, no one has chosen to play, so we are now going to shorten the odds. <laughs> Let's remove the hamburger. The chances of choosing immunity are now one in five. One in five. One in five. I sort of knew right then and there that there were going to be platters kept taken until someone just crumbled and went for it. And I looked over and I could see Nathan whispering into Andrew's ear and I thought, something's, something's happening here. I honestly, personally, don't trust them. I can see that they're playing the game. Nathan and Andrew were, were saying earlier on uh, not to run. It's not worth calories. I knew that as the odds lessened and lessened, that either they were going to run or somebody else was going to run. You want playing? No, thanks. Thank you. No, wrap it up. Contestants, we're now going to make the odds better. Let's take out the chocolate cake. Immunity is now a one in four chance. I really thought that Mel and Holly would go for it. When I was standing there, I could hear them. I could hear Holly. I'm pretty sure she wanted to go. I had a feeling that people might want to be getting me out. And I, and I ran it over and over in my head, you know, the, the consequences of what could happen. If the gun's out of the team, I mean, if I someone out, it's going to be me and Mel go. Not necessarily. Still can't be tempted? No. <laughs> the next thing we knew, the chocolate eclair was removed, which only left three platters, the cheesecake, the lollies and the immunity. In my mind, I was actually running through things saying I could almost go for this. The next thing we knew, the chocolate eclair was removed. It's now one in three. The odds were getting smaller. I'd looked around and everyone was getting a bit anxious and wondering who was going to run. Somebody will run and get the two. And 80 calories is worth the gamble. Do you reckon Mel and I should? It's totally up to you. That's something that you need to discuss with her. You've got to discuss it with your sister, seriously. Contestants, it's time to remove another dish, the cheesecake. This is interesting. A couple go. can have both things. You're guaranteed to get immunity now. One person from each couple could go, or the couple could go and pick the both platters. The two boys will go for it. Yeah, next. They're going to bolt. Yeah. Down to our 50-50 choice. One immunity, one the lollies, 80 calories. I kind of thought to myself in my head when it came down to the last two plates, you know, do you want to do this? You're not doing it. Don't You're not going to. Don't contemplate yeah. doing it. I said I'm not going to. 80 calories, which would be, what, a 10-minute workout with your trainer, or immunity, you could start seeing a little bit of a rift going on. Now just two platters remain. All right, I'm going. I was watching for any sign of someone to, to flinch. Under one are the six lollies containing 80 calories. Started getting into feet. I really wanted to go. We could get immunity and we'd be safe. Under the other is immunity. I knew they'd go. It was like a bullet out of a gun. The brothers were gone. Smart. Eh? Weak. Good on, no strong. And smart. That's so weak. Rocket! I was very surprised that no one else took a run. Wait till she. They gotcha! Well, the whole time Nathan and Andrew said they're not going to go, they're not going to go. He was gullible enough to believe that. When Nathan and Andrew don't have immunity, they will definitely get my vote. It's now time to lift the lids. <laughs> I got immunity. <laughs> it's doubled, brother. Yeah. It comes down to who's going to use their brain the best. I know they're playing games. Yeah. Yeah. No, from the they've, just, they've just proven. It's, proven it's the, they power. Want the power. They wanted yeah. the power. I hope backfires and bites them in the arse. I think Andrew and Nathan have positioned themselves as targets. Congratulations, Nathan and Andrew. Winning immunity means that both of you must now take the walk. The walk has the power to raise the stakes of this game like never before. Good luck. You can now join the others.
I think from that moment on, people saw that this is a game. It's not a fat camp. <laughs>